And our live pinpoint weather team coverage continues. Now the storms that move through our area move through fast. But they certainly packed a punch. One of those storms causing a big mess that could have been very dangerous for one Warwick family. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Planner has their story from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom tonight. Well, let me give you a look at this tree now sitting behind me, all chainsawed up and off to the side of the road. Everything is OK now, but crews only wrapped up within the last few hours. This happened this morning. And that is how painstaking this cleanup process was today. Fast moving, destructive weather blows through Rhode Island. The power of lightning on full display. Trees, utility poles, and power lines ripped down in Warwick. A car crushed on Tidewater Drive near Connecticut Point. The owner telling us she had been getting ready to drive it. She's okay. Power knocked out to this neighborhood. Lights out on Major Potter Road 2 near the East Greenwich Line. Lightning bringing down a tree, live wires with it, right in front of Les Man's home. We could have been pulling out of my driveway. A repairman was doing work on his boiler at the time. Around 10 o'clock, he had to leave to get the part, so I went to work. And about 10.03, my wife texted me, my neighbor texted me, and said, we have no power. Did you see what happened? Man came right back. The transformer was smoking. The strong smell of oil in the air. Man and his daughter stashing their cars at a neighbor's. Their drive cut off from the street. A day stuck inside. Les Man says right now, many Americans would envy their inconvenience. So what, we don't have power for a day. I mean, what happened in Houston and what might be happening in Florida next week, this is nothing. And a lot of praise for National Grid. I'm told trucks were here very quickly, many of them, and in minutes' time. You know, trees have come down in this neighborhood in the past. There are many around, and they are certainly bound to come down again in the future. National Grid telling us about 14,000 customers were without power immediately after this burst rolled on through. In Warwick, I'm Jared Planner, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Jared, and you can count on Eyewitness News for continuing coverage of this live Pinpoint Doppler 12 severe weather alert. Tony's going to be back in about 10 minutes with his Pinpoint future cast and on Eyewitness News this morning beginning at 4.30 tomorrow. Meteorologist Michelle Muscatello will be here tracking how these storms will impact you as you start your day. And remember, you can take the Pinpoint weather team on the go with our Pinpoint weather app. Get news and weather alerts sent right to your mobile device and access the live Pinpoint Doppler 12 future cast 24-7.